So next up, we have no less than the ubiquitous Dr. Chuck, um, who, as perhaps everyone knows, is we, we owe a great, great debt of gratitude, gratitude to for Sakai itself. But he's going to be talking about Sakai Plus, this new whiz-bang thing. And that means we have to make you presenter, Dr. Chuck. There you are, presenter now. So you should be able to share your screen. Okay, working on it. It's Do you coming. see my there screen? We got it. Now, there's my Go presentation. It. It's a good text-oriented terminal. Uh, oh, actually, no. So it turns out that while I was uh, preparing for my talk, I was going to work on Plus, and I just realized that there was something not working on the most recent sites. So I've been working all morning long on a JIRA that I did this morning when the whole thing started. And okay, but that's got me distracted. But here we go. Let's go back to Sakai Plus. I'm back, Sakai Plus. You're hidden. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, my lightning talk about Sakai Plus. Um, I got a YouTube video, which is kind of like the quickest marketing uh, two minute thing. Uh, don't Google a uh, Sakai Space Plus or you will find action figures, uh, which, you know, I got no problem with that at all. Uh, if you Google Sakai Plus, all one word, you will find Chuck, you will find Wilma, and you will find the things that you need to find if you don't remember what my URL is. So basically, at a high level, um, the idea is, is that LTI Advantage um, no, that that's no. It's a it's a Godzilla of some form. There's a Sakai Godzilla apparently. Um, so at, at some point, the I, LTI advantage is such a profoundly transformative standard, and all of the major LMSs decide instead of implementing the minimum, they implemented everything, which means that I can make code in Sakai that uses complete standards that synchronizes grades and synchronizes roster. And the key thing you'll notice about the Sakai Plus is it doesn't connect to the campus single sign-on and it doesn't have any SIS integration. It assumes there is some other system doing that. Um, and so this makes the Sakai Plus kind of like Sugi Cloud at that point. You can, I can put up a single server and Sakai Plus is multi-tenant and I could literally support hundreds if not thousands of schools on a single server because I don't need any SIS integration. I don't need any single sign-on integration. So it basically makes L an, a Sakai and LTI Advantage provider. Now, we had an LTI 1.1 provider, but it wasn't um, as powerful and as focused as this LTI Advantage because this LTI Advantage is really designed for a complete course launch. And it, when the launch happens, uh, we retrieve the entire roster. We retrieve the right roster on every launch with a slight sort of timer to debounce it a little bit. Uh, and what I do inside Sakai is I intercept all grade flow inside Sakai, and then I send all new grade columns back and I send all grades back. And so you simply teach in Sakai. You can pull individual tools in. And the same thing happens in that grade columns get, if, if you pulled conversations in to Canvas and you made 12 grade columns in conversation and you sent grades back in all those 12 grade columns, you would go back to Canvas and you would see all those grade columns. It supports IMS's dynamic uh, registration and Canvas's proprietary dynamic registration. Just turns out a lot of the market is in Canvas. So the use cases are, is, I call it the boutique LMS. Someday we'll come up with a better name for it. But the idea is you could have Canvas or D2L or Blackboard as your main, and you wanna you wanna come join us, right? You wanna be a Blackboard school, but you wanna hang on to uh, you wanna you want some of your faculty wanna come to a pedagogy call where actually the vendor listens to them. And Sakai is really the only place that has an enterprise LMS that will once a week will listen to any faculty member that you want to send or any idea you have. I mean, that that's us. We're the best for learning. We are the best for engagement. We're so much better than the other LMSs in these areas. And you don't have to switch to Sakai as your only LMS to take advantage of this. There are a number, you know, as people use Canvas and D2L and Blackboard more and more, they realize that, especially schools that left Sakai, they realize there were things in Sakai that are better than their fancy billion dollar LMS company. And so you can plug these things in. And so Sakai Plus allows that as well. So as we go forward, I'm, I'm really interested in making a business model of this, out of this. I, 
I really want to build a easy deploy on AWS. And I've got a lot of interest from Amazon itself. I'm talking to the Amazon Ed Tech folks and the Amazon Higher Ed folks. And I actually was trying to, I almost had them here to try to give a lightning talk about Amazon and Amazon Ed Tech and Amazon Higher Ed. But I'm thinking about a cloud-like experience, even for self-hosting that's released quarterly with automatic upgrades. And I'm going to really be anti-forking, right? I mean, if you're not making this your enterprise LMS, you don't have to tweak it as much. You can just say Sakai's got a lot of great stuff in it and be patient. And when we put new things in, you get them. Uh, Sakai Plus is inherently multi-tenant. And so, you know, I can put up a Sugi Cloud-like. I can, you know, I can say plus.sakaicloud.org and I can have a self-service install. I can give keys out. I can, and it doesn't cost me much to uh, have a small, uh, 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 sort of multi-tenant. I can put up a sl small cloud provided instance. I can run it on Amazon hardware under university control, or if there are so folks, you know, want to run it like at Unison or something like that, that can work as well. Um, this is now in master and in 23, you can do testing. Just go to the trunk master, log in as admin. I got a test script sitting there in GitHub testing.md. Uh, you can just walk through it. You can totally mess up nightly. And then in 24 hours, you can mess it up again the next day. So here is a demo. How much time do I have? Oh. Sorry, I was muted. You have three and a half minutes. Go for it. Okay, let's do a demo. This is Canvas. This is the teach class I am teaching at the University of Michigan. My students do not take the course in Canvas. They take the course in Sakai. And so this is lessons. This is week one, week two, the current week, videos. Um, one of the things I can do with this is I can actually, um, oh, that was a, the wrong kind of launch. I can do things in Sakai that I can't do in Canvas. One of them is I have this uh, YouTube tracker in Sugi that tracks views that I cannot seem to get to launch from Canvas no matter how hard I try. So I can't show you the grade book because this is real live data, but I could show you that I would go back and I would show you the grades and I would show you the grades going back in Canvas. And as fast as I can switch tabs back and forth, the grades are moving. Okay. And so, that's my demo. That's my whole demo. I will show you uh, in my slides here. This is what I do in Canvas. I don't get any of the checkbox. Uh, the, the, I just put modules up and it's like, hey, my. so I'm teaching my grad class with Canvas and I'm teaching my undergrad class with Sugi this semester. I'm gonna switch, I mean, with Sakai this semester, I'm gonna switch them all uh, to Sakai. So that I just, you know, cause nothing went wrong. And the one thing that I had, um, the, the biggest question that I had uh, was whether the students would complain about using Sakai and zero, no complaints whatsoever. Students figured out and that's because they might use my math lab or top hat monocle. Sakai just feels like a publisher site to them. And the fact that they do every class except one in Canvas and every class except one in Canvas with a button that clicks out to a kind of an external site that is so normal, right? This is just, not they're clicking out of their LMS so often into something that looks like an LMS so often it just doesn't freak them out. And so they there've been no concerns whatsoever from the students. So my next steps is um, you would be surprised at how open Canvas, D2L and Blackboard are to talking to me about partnerships with this. So you'll know I was very successful is if next summer I go to the Canvas, D2L, and Blackboard conference, and perhaps Moodle conference, and give a talk about Sakai Plus at their conference. I have the beta test at University of Michigan. I'm looking for three to five beta customers. Um, I think that uh, I've got my first D2L school that might bite. I'm talking to folks at Canvas about it. Uh, I don't really need another Canvas school. Happy to have another Canvas school because uh, University of Michigan is Canvas, so I'm testing the heck out of that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'd uh, like to work with uh, Zerte folks uh, who help with the hosting of Zerte uh, at Blackboard. Uh, Blackboard's really interested in it because they're facing some things that kind of scare them in the next two years. And um, if you are part of the beta test, you will you can hear from me every day if you want. I will. It'll be a very, very close coordination beta test. 
exploring business models. Um, obviously, traditional cloud provider, like kind of the way Longsite deals with it, you just tell Longsite to do it, you give them a domain name and it works. Or I want to work on a way to make, with Amazon, make uh, more and more schools learn to run their own Amazon, right? And then the other thing that I would sort of close with, I think this is my last slide, is that um, a lot of folks are implementing LTI Advantage. There is a rumor that there's going to be a Teams LTI Advantage and a Google Classroom LTI Advantage, which means that I can, I know we're spending a lot of time plugging Teams into Sakai for those of us using Sakai as an enterprise portal. But it means that a school that's using Teams as their LMS basically can use Sakai. And so that is the end of my slideshow. And I will stop sharing. Very good. Thank you, sir. Yeah.